Hey guys, welcome back to the Zane Investing. This video will examine the AMC Entertainment ticker symbol, as well as AMC and ABE. In today's video, we will discuss how Adam Aaron has addressed the challenges and what efforts have been made to aid the squeeze. We will also investigate how they are replacing AMC's stock symbol with another in an effort to confuse investors and circumvent certain restrictions. In this video, I also discuss the floor pricing for AMC, among other topics. Ensure that you watch till the very end. As is customary, we will begin by examining the chart for AMC. So today, today we are down 3.84%. This shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone who viewed Sunday outlet footage, as I'd have stated. We have discussed this week's possibility for the train to test the zone and then break above it. On Monday, when the zone arrived at 687 and 703, we witnessed the emergence of momentum. We observed the actual purchasers arriving. Keeping in mind that the volume over the last two days has been incredibly, incredibly low. Hence, we are not genuinely witnessing definitive shift. We are only observing extremely low volume activity. But ultimately, what we observed on Monday was the price increasing. As we approach the zone, there will undoubtedly be an increase in pressure. Currently, the price is obviously decreasing, and it's also what we discussed in order to test this 596. As previously said, this is a critical zone that has served as a pivotal zone in the past. Prior to how it bounces off this sector, we can see it from many historical price movement regions. Thus, we must now pay great attention to what it does. So, if it bounces off this area, there is still the possibility that it will reach the 687 and 703 zone. So, if we were to fail and truly break below the zone, the next level of support we'd be looking at for AMC would be 556 and 547. But as previously stated, volume would be quite light. In light of the fact that these movements wouldn't be occurring if there were a significant influx of volume, it is simple to turn them against their proponents. If we examine the volume down down and examine APE on the other hand, APE is up 0.5 or 7%. Again, this is a topic we have previously discussed. We tested the zone at the 194 and 203 approaches, which we ultimately rejected. Hence, when a zone is rejected, it naturally falls to the next support. And currently, APE is also experiencing poor volume. Thus, there are no truly decisive movements forthcoming. But, as previously said, there is still a significant likelihood of testing the 154 and 148. But as we've discussed, the long-term technical analysis for APE is actually irrelevant if the conversion is to occur. But let's take a look at today's news and the most significant news of the day. Hence, the first contribution is from Adam Aaron. Now he discusses many of you. And we are aware that AMC Entertainment has been on the threshold list for more than three weeks, suggesting a significant number of FATs. Some of you may be glad to hear that we've asked FINRA and NISE to examine the trading of our shares attentively. Now, he stated this, and I wish to stress that he did so prior to the change of the security threshold list. However, as of right now, if you're seeing this video, the threshold security list indicates that AMC got it into the list on March 7 which was the most recent trading day. So far, it has been 23 days. Ank was on the list of threshold securities. As this was the elephant in the room, everyone in the room has been yelling at Adam Aaron to discuss the FIDs. Everyone is aware that AMC must be on the threshold list and according to the rules, if they haven't covered it by the 13th day and it's still on the list, they must do so. Yet, they have not yet covered the remaining 10 days, as 13 days is now 23 days. They were not required to cover. Hence, Adam Aaron is genuinely addressing this. And how does this activity contribute to the squeeze? Now, one thing you have constantly mentioned is that if they were required to cover their shorts, it would definitely help with the pinch. Depending on the shorts they are required to cover, this could also activate the squeeze. But I believe this is a significant step forward. I am not claiming that this will absolutely spark the squeeze. As previously said, this aids the squeeze. Again, however, everyone has been discussing how Adam Aron should take action, how Adam Aron should do this or that, and he has done precisely that. We should now simply wait to hear what FINRA and NYAC have to say. 
yet it has been 23 days since AMC was added to the list. And if no change is forthcoming, it appears that the situation will remain. It is a breach of the regulations to not cover the fits on T plus 13. Therefore, the longer this situation persists, the more we must discuss it and address it. Then the result is what we have. Well, I'm certain that everyone has asked this question because they have witnessed it. This is also perplexing to me. Originally, the ANC logo consisted of a lion wearing a crown. Logo. Now, many of you are aware that the standard AMC insignia should simply be this AMC image. We observe the same with APE. This is also displayed at the top left of TradingView. According to Henry though, they have exchanged AMC for an OTC ticker. Perhaps they are adopting a strategy to remove AMC off the threshold listing. The day prior, they stated that AMC had filed an official complaint against the 13-day regulation. First. They were broadcasting positive AMC news using the incorrect ticker, as seen by their use of the incorrect symbol. Now they are replacing Arizona Metals Corp's genuine ticker on trading applications with an OTC stock, AMC TV, which you can see is AMC TV. Hence, this is what they are currently doing by altering the AMC logo and ticker. Currently, they are attempting to confuse everyone. And as you mentioned, they are attempting to remove it from the threshold list. Thus, assuming this is the case, Adam Aaron's actions have already been viewed as heading in the right path. As stated, this is a significant matter. If we can enforce this set of laws that is forced upon the market, then this will be enormous. And these are some of the strategies they are employing to get away with it. And once more, to clear up any confusion, the logo consists of a lion and a crown. Well then, we have the following from Joshua Sky and I'd like to hear your thoughts in the section below. So fundamentally, what you guys are proposing in terms of the floor pricing, and I believe it's a very interesting topic to discuss because we must first comprehend the current scenario. Thus he asserts that $100 is not very much, $500 is not MIMO, and $1,000 is also not MO. 5,000 stocks. Brief squeeze is not MO. Over the years, 100,000 counterfeit AMC Ape shares have been sold to you and your money has been collected. The reason I also like to discuss this is because Alamara has already discussed the tweet in relation to AMC's stock reaching $666. Again, this is neither a conspiracy nor a hypothesis. We are merely discussing data. Yet, it appears that when AMC crosses the 666 EMA, the price does indeed react. Pay great attention to this particular set of facts, especially if you are interested in short-term trading. When we consider everything that has transpired for AMC in relation to this video, we are in a favorable position with a major catalyst in terms of addressing the Feds. And again, the longer it remains on the Feds list form, the clearer it becomes that hedge funds are naturally terrified of AMC. In addition, we are aware that they are attempting to circumvent the threshold list by fabricating ludicrous falsehoods. Thank you for watching this video, people. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you did not click the like and subscribe buttons, I'll see you next time.